Okay, Dr. Hubner, I'm here with Ryan, and Ryan, uh, as you know on our website, he has his surgery day documented. He had his surgery initially to fill in sort of the frontal hairline and the frontal half. He came back a little over 14 months ago to do primarily crown work uh, and central area as well. So he's here now 14 months after his second surgery, his first surgery being more than two years ago. So, um, and it's cool to see his transformation over the last couple years. Um, and we were talking about how it sort of changes things in terms of, uh, you know, representing yourself and first impressions when it comes to uh, people in general or business. But um, tell us, Ryan, you know, what do you think of your whole journey, um, you know, from start to, to now? And, uh, and then we'll show off your results. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's obviously been pretty incredible to kind of, you know, I would say go against Mother Nature. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, like uh, you know, three years ago, um, you know, seeing kind of, uh, the hair kind of really falling out and then basically doing the first one um, the front part has been pretty great right yeah. and so when yeah. you actually like look at it um, yeah. really happy with with kind of that change because right. now you, you basically people don't notice things and then you look kind of like you know it's just like that's not an issue and but right. then when you look at the kind of the crown part yep obviously like that was falling out and you'll probably see before at the pictures yep. of of that being a, a pretty big issue, but even when you see someone that you know has hair on the front and then just crown issues, that's pretty much like right. Right. normal, right? I remember like average kind of yep. most people have that issue. Yep. And so, and we were talking again. The crown is a little bit harder to create density because the hairs are in different directions in that spiral, as opposed yep. to the front. So, um, but yep. it, um, yeah. And then he said, uh, you know, at work, it's it's good to have that sort of first impression. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, it definitely helps in, in business and presentations. And so, you know, came back, um, tried to fill out the crown a little more. Yep. Obviously, great improvement, you know, yep. um, having realistic expectations in regards to, yeah, I'm not going to have the, the hair of Dr. Huebner here. Uh. Uh, but, <laughs> but I mean, the, the reality is it, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, I, I definitely think it, it's paid off and, awesome. and I'm happy with the results. Awesome. Let's have you, um, if you mind, just do, when you had that chin down, maybe just hold it there for a second and I can put some befores and afters. Yep. So, okay. and down even a little bit more, Ryan, if you would. Perfect. Right there. Um, so you can just kind of see the difference. And as you can see, you know, from the spiral a little bit uh, in terms of seeing the scalp a little bit through there. Again, the crown's a little bit harder to create density. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate that. And, uh, but thank you so much for sharing your journey. Um, and again, if he ever wanted to uh, go under and do this process again, uh, maybe in a couple years, um, he could always fill in the crown a little bit more, and that would uh, sort of double up on that on that percentage uh, that he got there. So, uh, Ryan, again, though, thank you for being an advocate and showing your sharing your story, your whole journey. And um, you know, you have a little bit of a fan club going on, so uh, it's good that we did this video so they can kind of see where you are. But uh, awesome, man! Anybody you would say to anything you would say to people that are maybe on the fence about a hair transplant or whether it, you know, how it's going to look? Yeah, I mean, I think same thing as as last time, right? Initially. The, the first one was was definitely scarier, right? Um, scarier than yeah. the second one because I didn't know what to expect, right? And right. I think Dr. Peter does a great right. job with these videos to kind of be able to share those experiences where you can just like you know watch the video and be kind of a fly in the room to see that it's you know the the advances that they have in technology now, right? Yep. Um, and so so you know it's it's uh it's pretty cool to kind of say you know mother nature kind of asked me to be bald and then now it's like okay now i'm not this right. is cool yeah i got probably you know 10 years 20 years more and then probably it'll fall out and then i'll probably have to see dr Heater again <laughs> but, <laughs> well uh, the stuff that we put in is never going to fall out right yeah. so so yeah. that will be permanent but yes can you lose more of your natural hair absolutely yeah. um yeah. so yeah oh, awesome yeah but, but this is great Awesome. Well, thanks again, Ryan, and um, thanks again for being an advocate for our, for our practice. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Right. Thanks so much. Thanks. Call us now, 844-327-4247, and ask about our Hue and Hue Plus procedures, which move more hair than ever before. Hope to hear from you soon.